Welcome to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt Troutman. Genius Lounge is the place where we take tech and we make it accessible to mere mortals. In our last two videos, we showed you how to enable Apple Pay on your phone and then how to check out at a store using Apple Pay. And today we're gonna to talk about Apple Cash. Apple Cash is like a virtual wallet that's on your phone for payments that you can send and receive. Yes, you heard that right. You can now send and receive cash directly to people rather than just businesses using Apple Pay. So let's go ahead and take a look on how to enable Apple Cash and then how to send and receive. So on my phone, what I need to do is I need to go into my wallet app and then you'll notice I've got my debit card here and then I've also got behind that the Apple Cash card. So I'm gonna tap on Apple Cash and it's not quite ready to use just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it set up now. And Apple Cash says that you can set up Apple Cash to send and receive money in messages using Apple Pay. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it continue. It's going to set up Apple Cash. If it's your very first time doing this, it may have you go and agree to the terms and conditions. And now that Apple Cash is set up, I can send and receive money in messages using Apple Pay. So here you can see I've got a few transactions from the past and it's telling me that my card is actually being activated right now. And you'll notice that it's this kind of gray color. If you move your phone around, um, it becomes this interesting translucent color. It's mimicking the little holograms that you see on credit cards. And now I see that Apple Cash is ready for Apple Pay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up messages and I'm gonna send a message to my buddy, Matt. And from here, what I can do is I can go ahead and attach money to a message. And you'll notice that there is this little Apple Pay button right here. I can tap that. It checks to make sure that your recipient actually can receive money in Apple Pay. If they don't have an iPhone, say they have an Android phone or a Windows phone or a flip phone, um, they won't be able to receive Apple Pay. Um, so in this case, it makes sure that the recipient has Apple Pay enabled and that they can receive that and now you can change the amount that you'd like to send them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just send $1. And it puts that $1 in a message ready to send. Now you'll notice it doesn't look like there was any authorization step. When I tap the little send arrow, so now it's going to ask me to use Touch ID to authorize. And if you have an iPhone 10 or later, it's gonna ask for Face ID. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put my thumb down, pay with Touch ID, You'll see that process happen, and then the message will be sent, just like a normal iMessage, except in this case, it's black to indicate that it is part of that Apple Pay or that Apple Cash transaction. And now if I go back to my wallet and I look in Apple Cash, I can see that I have just sent myself $1. Now the other cool thing that you can do with Apple Cash is you can actually request money from someone. So say you went out to lunch, you paid and someone owes you some money. You can send them a bill using Apple Cash. So let's show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up messages again. I'm gonna tap that little Apple Pay button one more time. And instead of paying, I'm going to say, you know what, you owe me $10 and I'm gonna request that. You can only request from an individual, you can't request from groups, but now I can send a $10 request to myself and on the other end, they'll receive a message asking you to pay. When they tap the pay button on the other side, you'll see that that comes through. And now I've received $10 from myself. And when I go back to my wallet, I now see $10 in my Apple Cash card. Now you might be wondering, what can I do with my Apple Cash card? You can either use it to pay for purchases in a physical store, it acts just like any other card in Apple Pay, or what you can do is you can then transfer that balance to your bank. So in the upper right hand corner, when you've tapped on the card, you'll see this little ellipsis. Tap on that, and you can now say, I'd like to transfer to my bank. You can choose the amount that you'd like to transfer to your bank. You'll see your new Apple Cash balance below that. You can tap next, and you can choose whether you would like an instant transfer, there's a small fee for that, or you can choose a free transfer that takes about one to three days. In my experience, it tends to take the one day rather than the three days. However, that does depend on your bank and how their processing happens. 
So that's a quick overview of how to send money between individuals using Apple Cash and Apple Pay. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that little bell so that that way, every time we post new videos, you get notified. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Matt Troutman, and we'll see you around the Genius Lounge.